Hello, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's been a couple days. It's been a couple days, but we're back. We're starting a new act, and we're meeting up with Chailbert, this newly appointed king person. There's some conflict, trying to make some alliances across this land. Across Midgard. Yeah. 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 And welcome. One sec. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. Oh, boy. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Oh boy. Oh boy. Our Bishop Deolav and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Deolav, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Let's begin. Captain Anir, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Deorlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You, I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. We are here for peace. Ivar is right to challenge you. Rodri, you've wasted your men's lives in a fruitless war. Ivar need not show respect to you. The is deluded. How dare you speak to my husband in this manner? Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chalbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Okay. Yeah, it's all about money. You there. Chabot. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. You are wasting time! Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rodri, and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. 
Here you go. Lady Unhadad, take this silver. Do what you can to calm your husband. I shall. 650 the silver. The Kingdom of Gwynedd thanks you. It's ridiculous. Hey there, Melissa. How's I've it going? I've spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deolav. Okay. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah. All we do is talk. I'm Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Lady Young Harrod will use the silver to bolster the royal treasury. That will reassure and calm Rodri. Ah, a wise woman indeed. Rodri, I see you mocking me. I challenge you. Single Ivar, combat no. now. Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death as my seers have foretold. And your brother. Does your destiny guard him? No! By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Well, here we go. You oh, Eva! What have you done? He didn't promise anything. He said, I can't promise him nothing. Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. <laughs> ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here where it's safest, Bishop. It seems like me giving the silver away did nothing. Door. Pretty stupid. <clears throat> but here we go. Got this all right.
Over here? Yep. Yeehaw. Oh, that's a lot of them. Whoa, cool. Got them. Kill the gates. Let's go. Pretty exciting. Let's swap out bows for the light bow. Right over here. Fight for a second. Good job. Good God, what a damage. We must let Bishop Dale up know that the battle is done. The battle is done. Good thing I was ready for that epic battle. Oh boy. I haven't played for a couple days, you know. I had to get all refamiliarized. So now we have to speak to the dude over here. Right over here. Or something. Yeah! Right up here. But we killed them all. Some former grievance. Someone that attacked uh, Ivar the Boneless in the past, gave him a scar. You know, trying to make some alliance. Failed because blah blah. Darn blah blah. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What Ivar did no longer matters. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. Exactly. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well... For food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlocan outpost, down south of Quatford. I came across Wenlocan earlier. I've taken that cargo already. Well done, Dranger. I like that. Rotary See? has another secret. If you've done it, you're, you're to get Ask credit. Ask among the refugees near the river. 
those who have fled from occupied villages. Rotary's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. Oh boy. Once I've done some damage. One last thing. We'll oh man. need a field before our battle's a done. Field. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Okay. That's done. I guess. Now to track down their supply line. We'll drag Rotary back to the peace table soon enough. Well, I lost all my money. Good Bishop. Have you made progress, my friend? I'm back from the festivities at Wenlo Khan Outpost. Good. And the supplies? I'll take care of them soon. When looking at outpost. Right on through. Yeah. So this is that, an opportunity to uh, explore a bit, you know? Explore between point A and point B. I'm in some new portion. This is the new story arc. Okay, we're over here now. Supposed to go right across the river. It's not that far uh, at all. But there is some loot nearby. Let's go get that right now. Right now. Right now. Whoopsie. There's some loot here. Of course. Oh. Awesome. Excellent. Ooh, fabric. Awesome. I used the fabric to upgrade my uh, quiver and so forth. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Go straight over here. Way over here in this building. Let's just see what's up. I don't have the key. That's fine. We'll keep on heading through this land. There's a couple pieces of loot around. Let's hop into our birdie poo. Show me. Let's look. All right. So let's keep on going down and I'll loop up and around. I'll get to you, horse. Maybe. Okay. Thank you. Check out this world, lovely countryside, heading back up to the main city. Here. Well, 
kind of far away, but, you know, not that bad. Some animal somewhere, perhaps. And we have loot. I'm starting to get more cloth more often. Yay. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Is that wall destructible? No way. It looks like it's a different kind of stone. If so, this is the first time. It does not look destructible, but it looks pretty destructible. Well, let's just find out. I mean, nope. light over there but that could just be the back wall let's keep on looking it's always a horrible puzzle you know a terrible horrible puzzle I see. I see. I see. The secret little area. And now I need the uh, explosive. If I can get out. Right over here. <gasps> so, I have to bring this... Right over here. Maybe. here right exactly here and then we shoot you yeah oh no <sighs> shut up shut up and then boom and then boom and everything too Okay. No upgrade yet. I need 10. Hey there, Mike. How's it going?
little puzzle to get over here. It was a subtle puzzle, but it was still a puzzle. <laughs> That was a pretty cool thing that happened in the game there. That was a pretty cool battle, you know? Uh, what just happened in the game, uh, Ivar killed somebody during some uh, alliance meeting. We had to kill like 30 people just now. Civilian casualties will will result in desynchronization because it's like the matrix, you know For example, I think I'm gonna end this stream because I'm like really really tired and stuff. I know it's, oh, it's early, nice. but uh, I don't have a very it's consistent schedule And because of that sometimes I get like all jet laggy because it's you know Like that. Civilian casualties will result in desynchronization. I guess they're letting you relive time, but you can't change too much. <laughs> At least it warns me. That's cool. At least it warns you. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, I'm having fun with the new uh, Fallout 76 update. New life has been breathed, breathed into the game. And I love that new uh, heart renter thing. I hope that keeps on going on. Uh, my store is all stocked up. I'm making money quite often, and I think I'm going to continue to make more money. I'm going to have to make my camp a bit better. I got my uh, monthly allowance for Adams today, so that's pretty cool. Got a bunch of free Adams. I'm at like 2,000 Adams. Uh, there's a new shelter. The uh, dormitory or the residential area. I don't know what, what it looks like. It has something to do with like glass floors and so forth. Man, hopefully they have more functionality. It's just a big old crazy building space. Uh, it'd be really good for people that are role playing. It'd be really good for people like the Chad, like that Chad podcast people, like the, or people that make. Uh, like videos and the role playing. Nice to have an area that you could build. Role players. It's good for that purpose. It would be nice to put your ally down there and have some functionality. Who knows? 
but uh, I think it's really helping being able to see which items I got last and uh, how much things weigh. Sorting between aid and food is, has been helping out quite a bit. Sorting between cosmetic and armor has been helping out quite a bit. I can quickly find things, you know. And I'm still unlocking a lot of perks. I still have to level up. I have a lot of perks to go. A lot of them. For example, I just now remembered what I needed to do. I wanted to upgrade my Zealot's uh, Gal Shotgun with limb damage and agility or whatever. I wanted to upgrade that thing to to a Prime, but I have to reobtain uh, the uh, ranged version of Makeshift Warrior. Yeah. I have to level up that thing. That one. Both of them, basically. A bunch of stuff. I, I say maybe 20 or 30 more levels. Until I'm cozier. Cozier. But eventually I will hit an end state. Yes, gunsmith. Sorry. Yeah. Gunsmith. I'll hit an end state eventually. It's not just about getting my legendary perks. It's about my actual attributes. Uh, or my actual perks. I've surrendered. I've gotten rid of all these things. I've, I've already had them. I've gotten rid of them. Numerous times sometimes. Meaning I've had it and got rid of it. And had it again and got rid of it. And now, this is the final time I'm obtaining things. I'm getting rid of duplicates and whatnot. But I'm trying to keep these perks. For example, I'm now using Home Defense 3. For the high level turrets. But I had a period where I got rid of it. You know? I still don't have Contractor 2, but I will again. I'm very happy with the Gauss Shotgun and the Gauss Minigun again. I stopped using them for a while. But I'm back and it feels pretty comfy, especially targeting their leg. Uh, today I unlocked One Gun Army for my Gauss Minigun, which I think will help just a little bit. Even if it doesn't do the most damage, it'll still cripple the enemy a bit more, especially with a limb damage version of the weapon. Oh, uh, and you fixed a bottleneck in your Leaf Blur Re Revolution, Mike. The red flask was going down uh, faster than you can create the green ones. Oh, yeah. Eventually, you produce more than what it uses. So, I, you know. at first, let's say it takes a thousand to produce 200 or something. But then it takes 200 pro to produce 10,000. Or some crazy garbage. Yeah, one gun army is a great perk. Uh, it just bewilders the enemy. If there's an angler rampaging towards you, it'll stop. If there's a Yagwai, it'll kind of slow down a bit. You know? That sort of thing. It's a pretty cool effect. At the very least, I'd say that thing. Then, of course, you have... Could go for the, you know, uh... The heavy gunner. Master heavy gunner. Expert heavy gunner. Garbage. Just three of those. Just three points under strength. Just for the 30% boost. Tiny bit. Then, of course, three more points under intelligence with power armor if you wanted to go that route but I don't know about that I mean it is pretty cool hopping in hopping out I say for bombing I say as long as I bomb once a week or twice a week then I'll be happy because then I'll feel like I'm I'm using my power armor appropriately You know? I like to use everything. I'm trying to use everything. Eventually, I will be incorporating the... Hellseeker, Hellfire, whatever the heck it's called. Rocket Launcher and the Liberator Pistol into my build. I want to use all that garbage. Yes. 
eventually. I'm supposed to have a higher chance now with this new update. Today I got the burrow signs. It's supposed to be, you know, from the rare pool. But I guess the burrow signs is from the rare pool. The burrow signs are pretty cool. There's a bunch of signs and they're really cool. The, the doctor is in, you know, central, pier. It's a bunch of really cool signs. Yeah, staggering and crippling is a major thing. Even if you don't... Like, so, I'm talking about fighting casual players. Not players that know what they're doing. Players that know what they're doing will prevent limb damage. And prevent being in a position where they're staggered. But the average person, it'll just bewilder them. You know, you're running along and you get all shot up. And all of a sudden you can't move. And you can't jump. And you can't do things. And then your legs break. You know? It's terrible. It's like bewildering. It's the worst thing ever. Very effective. Very effective. Oh, yeah. Uh. So I'll, I'll go to bed just a bit, you know, uh, at an appropriate time, wake up at a normal time, and uh, have a nice rest. Rest. Yeah. The pistol has its purpose. The shotgun has its purpose. I think uh, for most of my running around, uh, shoot, him, shoot him in the leg style, that's effective. But that's really for a certain type of enemy. I want to reserve my shotgun for uh, anything mid-range. Meaning a big, like a Deathclaw, Yalgwai, anything I want to sort of cripple. For sure cripple, cripple, cripple. For sure cripple. I'll use that. But then for running around, I'll use the pistol, you know. And then for anything larger, I'll use the, the Gauss minigun. And for tagging the enemy in a public event, I'll be using the flaming bow. And then for up close and personal, I'll use the, the uh, mole miner gauntlet. And then maybe I might introduce mines and a tomahawk or two. But probably mines. Yeah, mines are pretty nice. Yeah. Then eventually I'll I'll move from unyielding to bolstering and to Vanguard. Vanguard is the uh, the full health thing. I would like a Vanguard set and a bolstering set and a you know, nice unyielding set, all with weapon weight reduction and some other garbage like uh, the AP regen, especially now with dodgy. I want to build back into dodgy as well. A bunch of stuff. But that's what's happening. Just want to catch you up there. Help! <laughs>
<laughs> Dude's up in the mountains. Stopped. Oh. <laughs> Where am I? Yep. And then I have to... While the body is still warm, and there's still like a nice sear on the outside, I gotta make sure to trample a couple times. I get my horse to trample the body a couple times. Until... All the outer flesh is all... Gone. There we go, there we go, there we go, there... position the knee up on the thing the leg there leg there Twisting. Woo <laughs> all right well <clears throat> I'll try to stream this game longer tomorrow maybe but I'm really uh, trying to play more Fallout. I just felt like re revisiting this before going to bed. This area really, really looks nice. The, uh, the different plants here, the lichen on the rocks. You know they probably used pho photogrammetry, which means those are probably real rocks. I'm just guessing. You know what I mean? For the most part, some of these are actual are actual rocks scanned from the environment with a bunch of pictures. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Oh, 
All done. Fallout 76 over here. They're reproducing. They were reproducing. I caught them. They're multiplying. Like a bunch of gremlins. Get back here. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Dinklage, 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 Peter Pie. Aww. Your friendlies. I was about to wreck shop. But we're done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Goodbye.